highlight is a get ready with me sort of natural look the first thing that I do is I put in my contacts the next thing that I do is I use my Mario Badescu skincare facial spray I'm currently running out but I'm gonna get more soon so I just spray this all over my face to rejuvenate myself and wake up after that I'm just gonna like let it dry a little bit but I just got this and I don't know if you guys can see this because my camera like refuses to focus on small things but it's the uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip scrub and it's in the flavor mojito I'm just gonna go like that and scrub my lips since it's chapped lip season dry lip season uh all the lips season this is like necessary for me to have like a scrub in the morning so then after that what i do is i take my smashbox photo finish primer and it smooths and blurs your skin i just like this because it just gives me a nice like base for my concealer and foundation to like sit on so it's not oh yeah, I still have lip scrub on my face so it's not like bumpy or anything even though I don't really have bumpiness I still like using this because it makes my skin like even smoother so that is something that I do not complain about okay after I'm fully primed what I'm gonna get is my Too Faced Born This Way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer what I conceal is just my under eyes because obviously you can see these bags are not cute, so need to conceal these puppies, which is honestly a tragedy. Okay, so after that, I'm just gonna use, this is very dirty, please don't judge me, um, my Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge. And that is because your girl is too broke to afford a real beauty blender, and these are actually like really good like I 10 out of 10 recommend they're still really good sponges for less than $20 and I believe that that is the ultimate steal I look horrendous but it's fine also, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so please do not follow in my footsteps. The next thing that I do is I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade, and the color that I use is chocolate um, because I have like pretty naturally dark hair, and like my eyebrows, like the hairs are pretty dark, even though my eyebrows are pretty um, sparse. What I do is I just take this brush <laughs> it's the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyebrow brush I don't really know the number well first I like to just brush out my hairs and perfect and then I just take this end and it's like an angled brush so I just go in into the dip brow and I get a fairly decent amount of product on there and I start here I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys there we go so I'll start here and I'll start at the tip of your eyebrow and I use really light strokes 
so it's not like drastically dark can you focus please I'm gonna go on the bottom and use those same like very very light strokes And do that side. And then once I have like it outlined, I'm just gonna go in and fill in the rest of my brow and keep and I keep on um, using those like really light feathery strokes. And also if you realize you wanna reshape it like I just did there, that's a good time to do it as well. to keep them like pretty natural looking because I'm about to wear a t-shirt and leggings on campus because I'll just be sitting all day. Okay, so after that I just go back with my spoolie and I just brush it through to make sure that there's like no product that's like sticking weird or isn't blended. And that is my finished brow on one side. And I'm about to do the other one off camera. Okay, so the eyebrows are on fleek. So after this, what I use is the Stila, Stila, Stila. Again, not a, not a beauty guru. It is the Stay All Day Waterproof uh, Liquid Eyeliner. And I've been using liquid eyeliner since like seventh grade I like never really used to F with pencil not a fan so I just put this on my top lid and then I'm good to go mascara I use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and this has been like my go-to mascara for like a very long time um and yeah I just apply it like this and I get a lot of length and volume and I've been thinking about getting eyelash extensions for like a little bit now but I keep having to spend my money on more important things in life and my bank account would kill me if I went and got lash extensions because most places are pretty expensive around here so maybe I'll get them someday for Christmas or something. Okay, see, you can see my eyelashes now. Beautiful. For my foundation, obviously you guys can tell I don't use liquid foundation or else I would have applied that already. Also, again, I'm not a makeup guru. That's why I'm applying foundation last. Please don't judge me in the comments. I beg you. Anyways, this is the Kat Von D like Locket foundation. Locket powder foundation and I use medium 56 so I just am gonna use the morphe I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the morphe e41 brush it's very big and it's one of like their best sellers at morphe so I like needed it and it's so so soft I'm just gonna go in into the foundation and I'm just gonna brush it on and I really like this foundation because it just like overall like makes my skin tone like the same because my forehead is a little bit more tan than my cheeks and it just makes everything good 
and I don't look dead anymore. God bless. And make sure you blend. That's like a key rule that I do follow from the beauty gurus of YouTube. All I do is I take my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and I just shake it, shake, shake it, and so that was my makeup routine that I do almost every day. Some days when I'm really tired, I just do mascara con and concealer and foundation. That's all. Um, but this was like my pretty in-depth makeup routine, honestly. And I only bring out the eyeshadows on very special occasions, aka formals and concerts. That's about it. Um, but this is my everyday makeup routine. Woo. Well, then after makeup, I work on hair. So every morning my hair, ow, gets pretty tangly because I guess my hair is just like prone to tangles and I'm like not about that life it's an annoying life I live let me tell you and I just got a haircut so it's like I got like four inches cut off but I honestly can't even tell because my hair was so long to begin with oh and also I'm using a wet brush it's like my go-to. I like tried a different brush that I ordered off of Amazon and it was honestly a nightmare. I hated it. It like made me cry when I would try to brush out my tangly hot <laughs> tangly hair. Let's see, do I wanna straighten it today? <sighs> I'm like trying to not straighten my hair so I can like keep some health. I'm gonna straighten it. So while I wait for that to straighten, I'm just gonna put on some of the jewelry that I wear every single day. So first is this Pandora ring that my boyfriend gave me for six months? Christmas? I don't really remember. Then I have another Pandora ring. Can't really see it, but me and my friends got it from home last winter break. I have this Disney bracelet. It says me and my boyfriend's anniversary date on it and he got it for me at Disneyland like a while ago. It's like pretty worn out but it's like my favorite thing. The last piece of jewelry that I wear is my Pandora bracelet and I wish it would focus for you guys because it's really pretty and it has like a heart clasp which is like not the huge but my boyfriend got me the bracelet a few months ago and he's been like adding on to the charms ever since he like started off with a disneyland annual pass holder charm which is like so cute and the rest are like all rose gold which is my favorite type of metal straightener is now hot and ready <laughs> For the day so that is how I do my hair now I'm just gonna pick an outfit yay so went through my closet was a really difficult to make a decision JK um, basically what my outfit consists of every day is either a Kappa Delta or Phi Delta tank top or t-shirt uh, leggings or running shorts. It's been leggings recently because the library tends to be cold and a sports bra. So I'm gonna wear my Lulu light pink sports bra with these leggings plus my Kappa Delta tank top from bid day two years ago. So yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so this is the completed look, Luke of the day. Tank top, sports bra, um, leggings. I'll probably wear some Burks with this. So yeah, uh, fun times. 
Okay, so that was my get ready with me video. Um, that's literally what I basically do every single day. So I'm glad that you guys came along with me and watched me get ready and talk a lot. Um, so if you guys liked that video and would like to watch more videos of me doing who knows what, honestly, I don't know what is happening. Um, then make sure that you subscribe and also comment down below if you're new and I will give you a shout out on my next video. So until next time, bye!